Hey, what's up, guys? Okay, so let's start out with talking about the baseball game last night. Uh, I thought the Mets would win. They didn't. They just didn't have a good game. Game one was a huge loss. Uh, and the Royals just started out where they left off. You know, Mets, I felt like they had that game in game one. You know, Familia doesn't blow much saves. Hadn't blown a save off playoffs and then Gordon comes in ninth inning and bing hits a home run to tie the game and then uh, Cologne gives up a uh, sack fly to uh, Eric Hosmer and then Escobar scores game over last night the Grom didn't have his best stuff Cueto did Mets bullpen wasn't good last night. Nice gave up three runs. Um, and the Royals are a tough team, but I think the Mets will bounce back tomorrow because they have to. If they lose tomorrow, the series is over. They're not coming back being down three games to nothing. Not happening. Tomorrow is a must win. They got to win. Everybody knows that. I think the Mets do win tomorrow. I think they can take two in New York. I think they will take two in New York. I think it will be 3-2. Kansas City going back to Kansas City. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, let's get to football because I haven't talked a lot about football yet on these videos. Um... I'm gonna. I know we're halfway into the season for col college. Actually, more than halfway for college. But um, I'm gonna start making picks every week, and I'll let you guys know how how my picks are. It's just gonna be for fun. I'm gonna make six picks: four for pro and two for college. So let's start out with college. Um, Start out with Notre Dame and uh, Temple. The Temple's a tough team, ranked 22nd in the country. This game is at Temple, 8 o'clock, under the lights. Game will be on national television. And I think Temple will give Notre Dame a game. Uh, but I think Notre Dame comes out on top. This will be a very close game. I think uh, Notre Dame wins by a field goal. It's going to go right down to the wire, I think. I think Notre Dame wins by a field goal. My other one is uh, uh, Florida against Georgia. I think fl the Florida Gators will beat the Georgia Bulldogs. This game is usually always close. You take, it's one of those games where you take all the records away. Uh, last year's game was not close. Florida were big underdogs last year, but they smoked Georgia. But I think the Gators win this week. I think they, I think they win this game by ten, somewhere around the, uh, say like 24-14 or something like that. I think the Gators win, and I think they will go to the SEC title and face Alabama or Georgia, or Alabama or L LSU. So let's uh, let's go to pro. I'll make four picks for the NFL. I'm going to start out with Cincinnati and Pittsburgh. Roethlisberger makes his uh, looks like he's going to be back this week. I like the Steelers to beat the uh, Bengals this week and give the Bengals their first loss. I think with Roethlisberger coming back, everybody will be on the same page. Everybody's healthy now. Steelers, if they're completely healthy, are a tough team to beat. Um, so, I like the Steelers over the Bengals. Um, 
not going to give a score. I'm not very good at giving giving scores, but I like the Steelers over the Bengals in a in a close game. Um, Arizona against Cleveland. I like the Cardinals to beat uh, the uh, Browns this week. I th I don't think they'll have a problem with them. Arizona's got a very good defense. Carson Palmer having a pretty good year, so I like the Ari Arizona Cardinals to win that game. Um, my other pick, let's see. I like the uh, Rams over 49ers. I like uh, 49ers struggling this year. I've said this since day one. I think the 49ers should have never traded Alex Smith. You know, nothing against Colin Kaepernick. You know, he's a good athlete. But Alex Smith finally had the right head coach in Jim Harbaugh. You know, Alex, Colin Kaepernick was just a, a one-year wonder. I think the, the uh, Rams will win that game this week. So, 49ers are just a mess. That whole, whole thing with... Uh, getting rid of the Harbaugh. It's very, very, very stupid. Their owner and GM, I don't know what the heck they're thinking, but I like the Rams over the Niners this week. And then I like the, uh, my last pick, I like the uh, Falcons over Tampa Bay. I think Atlanta will uh, have no problem with Tampa Bay. Uh, Atlanta's a very, very good football team. They did lose a uh, game a couple weeks ago to New Orleans, but I think they beat Tam they'll beat Tampa Bay. The Buccaneers blew a 24-point lead last week to the uh, Washington Redskins. Should never blow a 24-point lead. I don't know. I don't care how uh, good or the team is you're facing. Especially against the Redskins, you know, Redskins are not a team you should blow a 24-point lead against. So, uh, again, I'll let you, uh, let you guys know. Again, I like Notre Dame over Temple. I like Florida over Georgia. I like the Steelers over the Bengals. I like the Rams over the Niners. Cardinals over the Browns. And the uh, Falcons, Falcons over the Bucks. So those are my picks this week. I'll uh, let you guys know how I do throughout the week. So I'll make picks uh, every week: four for pro, two for college. Um, and uh, that's a, that's about it for tonight. So I'll probably uh, do another video, maybe, yeah, I'll probably do a video Saturday about the uh, college football games coming up and about NFL and where we are at, at for the World Series. So you guys have a good night. All right. Peace.